Hi Sagittarius, it's Elle here to do um, a quick reading for you. The reading will be the energy today. Um, it could be predictive. It could just be the energy showing up at this present moment. Uh, so thank you for being here with me. Do like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. So let's go ahead and get into this Sag. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Sagittarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right. So let's see what's going on with you. It looks like you could be kind of removed yourself from a, a situation that was it was going really fast. Lots of passion, lots of obsession and infatuation, maybe even sexual activity. Maybe where you felt like you were being swept off your feet or you were sweeping the other person off their feet. I don't know. There also could have been, you know, room for trouble and drama and jealousy also. So you're kind of removing yourself from this situation and saying, you know what, the relationship has been rocky. It's been up, it's been down, it's been like a roller coaster. I don't know if I want to keep fighting for this. But some of you are, are very too overly concerned with the past and not the present or what the future could hold for you. So you, you might be looking at the past a bit too much here. It says that someone's doing a lot to keep your attention or vice versa. This is what you're doing. Um, guard your resources, your money. Be proactive in your resources. Don't give up before the, the miracle happens here. Whatever it may be. Um, you put a lot of energy. You spent a lot of energy in this thing. Whatever it may be. Don't give up before the miracle is realized. All right. So let's see what card. Yeah, the five of cups. Uh, so you feel like something was taken from you. Okay. Or someone took their energy, their love from you. Um, there's a breakdown in a community, in a relationship. Maybe a love affair. It could have had a title to it, girlfriend, boyfriend, engaged, married, I don't know, but it just could be plain old love affair. There could have been other parties involved here also. Uh, and, and this possibly led to the fact that the one significant person relationship that you wanted to hold on to was uh, stricken from you, was taken from you due to um, maybe how someone... Uh, played things out. Now there's an air of regret, remorse. There's also someone not knowing how to find their way back to the other. Could be you, could be the other person, or could be the both of you. So much has happened, so much time has gone by. How do we get back to each other? How do we get back to that place where we were? There's also so much room for mistrust now. I don't I don't know if I trust you. I don't know um, what you've been doing, what you've been up to. I know I miss you. I long for you. I am in the grieving process in terms of you because I just don't know how to get back to you. Um, but, but it says that the relationship is recoverable, Sagittarius. It is. Not without a lot of work. Not without... Um, someone understanding uh, their fault or their actions in the relationship um, or, or admitting to it, acknowledging it. Okay, so we have two cards fall onto the ground. The uh, page of pentacles, the seven of pentacles. It says, yeah, if you, if you want to come back to this person, you're gonna to have to be solid, stable, have a plan, um, know what you guys are doing, have an agenda set for the relationship. Uh, you need to be talking about milestones and what we're gonna do and how this is gonna play out. There could have been um, a miscarriage that happened here also. Someone is trying to get pregnant either again or for the first time. You need to have uh, a plan, a course of action of how you bring this back together. Some of you um, 
you've been, you've been feeling lethargic and um, kind of inactive here, maybe even overeating. You're too focused on, on grieving, so now you want to live a healthier lifestyle, lose weight, eat better. Uh, you're getting into, you know, um, a better lifestyle, planting a garden, eating vegetables, um, spirituality, divination, tarot card readings. Um, some of you are frustrated with the in inactivity that's happening between you and another person. You think it's over, okay? You think, uh, yeah, you think it's over, it's done, they're done with you, um, there's no room to come back to this person. You don't even know how to, um, but you do miss them, you do long for them, you even watch them. You have just become passive in terms of this relationship, this marriage, or whatever you're in. Um, you're just passing the time, you've become passive, you've grown to the the inactivity in the connection. We don't do anything together. We don't go anywhere. Or they're not talking to me, so I'm not talking to them. They're not reaching out to me, so I'm not reaching out to them. You're frustrated with it, but it says that you're you're willing to see it through. Someone's not giving up. Someone feels as if there still is possibility for a return on their investment. And their investment could be, of course, money, time, energy, love, emotions. Um, so someone said, I'm not going to give up because I know that there's something here. It's unrealized success, but we can actually have success. This could be in your business. This could be um, in a love relationship here. Maybe you didn't get the profit you were looking for in business. You're going to um, try to bring something new uh, into the business or a new component of, uh, of the business or maybe even a new business altogether. There's good news in terms of business, uh, and business matters um, only if you put the work in. You're manifesting or trying to manifest uh, something tangible, a meeting or an opportunity to meet or a connection between you and someone else. And you're just waiting for that manifestation to take place here. It's unrealized, but you know it's coming. You're waiting for the opportunity to go to the next level in business, in love. Again, plan. Have a plan. Um, don't be overly excited, overly confident. Um, you can be sure of yourself, um, but don't set yourself up for failure here. Okay, so Sag, this is your reading. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question, or you can text the question to the number below and paper your question. You can also um, donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee link. If you feel like there's something in your life you want to release, relinquish, get in on the full moon uh, release ritual. Um, all links are below for everything that I just mentioned. Thank you, Sag. Take care.